Hey, what is up guys? It's so nice to see all of your beautiful faces. I wish I could see them. Anyways, in this video, I will show you how to utilize the portfolio analyst feature inside Interactive Brokers, which allows you to create and save reports based on your preferred criteria and parameters free of charge. And at the end of this video, I will also show you how you can generate your account statements so that you can keep track of your fund movements, which will be very helpful for your own record as well as to prepare yourself in the event of an audit by your tax authorities. I appreciate it if you can help me smack the like button down below. It helps a lot with this channel. Thank you very much. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's content. Before I even begin with customized reports, let's take a quick look at the default reports that you can download right away from the Interactive Brokers web portal. Click into this Portfolio Analyst tab and underneath it, choose Overview. Here alone, right, you can get a very high level snapshot of your portfolio with information like what is your net asset value, your performance from seven days up to since inception and etc. And if you scroll down, you can also see how much each position contribute to the return of your portfolio, which is a great way for you to see how all of your trades fare for the say entire 2021 and as you guys can see here i am being totally transparent with you you can see my performance for each position i will let the result speak for itself anyways let's move on to the next step under the portfolio analyst tab click into reports here you can generate a bunch of default reports that give you a variety of selections ranging from previous month to since inception. There are three buttons over here. The first one is snapshot PDF report, which is a one pager summary of your account, showing you your net asset value, distribution of returns, some key statistics of your portfolio's performance, as well as the allocation of your stocks, cash, and ETFs. The second one here is detailed PDF report, which is a full blown 50 to 60 page report that shows you a bunch of information, such as historical performance, open position summary, allocation by categories, performance comparisons, trade summary, deposits and withdrawals, and etc. The last one here is the detailed CSV report, which is basically an Excel spreadsheet. Personally, I don't find it visually attractive to read, but it could be useful if you want to extract certain numbers from your portfolio for your personal spreadsheet or integrate it with some other portfolio tracker such as Morningstar. What I would recommend here for you is to download and keep a copy of your detailed PDF for the previous calendar year. I say this because this can effectively be the document to track your yearly results as well as a backup in case of a tax audit. You never know when it will become handy, right? Anyways, that's about it for the default reports. Let's move on to the more interesting section. At the bottom of the same page, you will see the custom reports section. Just click the plus button to create your very own customized report. You will land on this page asking you to customize your report. I will show you my preference as a general guide, but obviously feel free to choose according to your preference. For the report name, I named mine Z Overview since inception. Time period, pick whichever you want. You can always generate multiple reports, so no worries about that. For today's demo, I will choose since inception. Frequency, I like it monthly. Report type, let's go for detailed. Format, I like it in PDF. Performance measure, there are two choices here, money weighted return and time weighted return. Money weighted return measures the performance of your portfolio by taking into account the effect of money deposits and withdrawals in and out of your portfolio on top of the time factor. Whereas for time weighted return, it measures your performance based on the time factor only, which eliminates the impact of the cash flow timing. There are no right or wrong to whichever you choose here. I personally prefer time weighted return because I don't think the effect of the cash flow in and out of my portfolio matters as much when we are talking about long term and consistent investments, which are usually deposits and maybe just one or two withdrawals here and there. Replace account ID with account alias. Choose yes if you plan to show this report to someone else otherwise it doesn't really matter whichever you pick include cover page and table of contents choose yes i will show you why in just a bit scroll downwards and this is where you can choose whichever content you want to have in your report if you have no idea which to pick here you can download the detailed pdf report that i have shown you just now which shows everything then you can just cherry pick from there so since we are here to customize our report i will filter out 
all the bells and whistles and show you whichever is necessary in my opinion. I will start with account overview. This is where you get a bird's eye view of your entire account. The first graph here shows you your net asset value in the form of the dark blue bar chart which you can tell I have been consistently growing my portfolio and the light blue line graph shows you my cumulative return which peaks about 55 each percent in November 2021 and dropped to about 43% in December. No thanks to Omicron. On the right, you can see more return statistics. Who are my top performers? Obviously Tesla because I have more than 60% weightage of it in this portfolio. And on the right, you can see some of my bottom performers, which are some of the bad trades that I have made here and there just to satisfy my itchy hands. And down there, you can see the allocation of my stocks and cash, etc. And you can tell from here, my cash is running pretty low because I just bought the dip again, no thanks to Omicron. Next up on the list, I will also choose historical performance which gives me more information on my investment performance. The left chart shows you my return ranging from month to date to since inception which stands about 40-ish percent and this is also reflected on the right chart where you can see my cumulative return fluctuating ever since I started this account November last year. So 40 to 50-ish percent return in a year, whether I am doing well or bad, that is for you to judge. Why don't you let me know in the comment section down below. Moving on, I also selected open position summary. This is essentially all the stocks that you have in your portfolio right now, which is a great way for you to know each of their weightage and sector and cost basis, etc. Or if you want to show off to your friend or whatever, just screenshot this page and show them. Next up, I also went for the allocation and performance by sector, which allows you to see how you allocate your investments across different sectors. This is obviously a good to know information as opposed to a must know, but if you are those type that diversifies your investments across multiple ETFs and you are very particular when it comes to sector weightage, then obviously this page will be your friend to help you achieve the weightage that you want. As you all know, my portfolio is predominantly Tesla and Big Techs. You will see that my sector allocation is heavily skewed towards consumer cyclicals which are technically higher risk and volatility in nature. Nothing wrong, this is just my personal investment preference. Next, I also recommend this performance by symbol. Here you can see more details on how each of the trades or stocks you have in your portfolio fed, good or bad. You can see my top performers, bottom performers, and at the subsequent pages, you can also see the heat map of the trade performance that I have made in the past. Obviously, green means good and red means bad. Sometimes it can get a little bit confusing with these return numbers as they obviously don't coincide with my portfolio return. That's totally fine because these are time-weighted return that have been adjusted by the IBKR system. Moving on, I highly recommend you to choose these deposits and withdrawals. Pretty self-explanatory, you get to see all of your fund movements in one place, again, for record purposes. And then, I would also pick this dividends page, which shows you the dividends paid from the stocks you own. And as you can tell here, I have a little bit of dividends here and there from ARK ETFs and Apple, which is nothing at the grand scheme of things as I personally prefer growth stocks as opposed to dividend stocks. Last but not least, we go for the fees page that will show you the snapshot fees that you have incurred for using the snapshot button. Or if you subscribe to any market data, it will also appear here. All right, now that you have selected all of the pages that you prefer, just click the create button and you will reach this page asking whether you want analyzed returns for historical performance. I chose yes, just because I think it is a better representation of any portfolio performance as it is easier to benchmark yourself on an analyzed performance basis against the S&P 500 index or just any other indices. It will then ask you to review your custom report click create, then it will show you that your report is safe, then click OK. To download your report that you have just created just now, click the arrow button to run it and it will ask you for your time period and etc. Again, up to you. I prefer since inception with a monthly frequency in a PDF format. Then click the run button. You will be able to download the PDF and just open it up to see the report. Remember that I asked you to choose yes for the table of contents. It's really helpful because you can just click into any of the content that you want and it will automatically jump to that particular page. It's a nice touch if you ask me. Now, before you leave this page, you can also ask IBKR to send you the report automatically by clicking into this configure button beside the reports delivery box. And then you can choose how you want to receive this report. For me, I will tick the one we have created just now, then click continue. It will ask you to review the delivery settings. Just click continue and it will say that your delivery settings have been saved. And since we already selected monthly frequency, IB IKEA should email you this custom report on a monthly basis.
Now, I know some of you will be asking me, Ziet, how about the commission fees that we have paid for all of our trades? It's not shown in the custom report, right? Well, that's correct. I have no idea why they don't show it there. But nonetheless, you can download your account statements by going for the reports tab and click into statements. Here, you can see that there are different types of statements which are pretty overwhelming for any beginner. But to make it simple for you, I would recommend you to go for the real life summary as I think it is easier to read. You can choose the time period that you want. Some of you might prefer the monthly report. By all means, go ahead. Choose the respective month that you want to download. Format HTML view is for you to view it on this website but if you want to download it then choose the pdf format choose the language that you prefer then click run you should be able to download the file open it up and you will see all the necessary information that you need such as the net asset value realized and unrealized performance summary trades that you have made in that month your deposits and withdrawals and all of those stuff feel free to explore them by yourself before i wrap up this section you can again generate custom statements just like how we did before with the report Ports, and then set up a statements delivery for interactive brokers to automatically send you via email. All right, I hope you found this video helpful for your investing journey. I have an interactive brokers affiliate link down below whereby I will receive a tiny advertisement fee if you just click into it at no extra cost to you whatsoever. So if you don't mind, I would highly appreciate it if you can do so as it helps me to create better content for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I should be able to get back to you very quickly. Okay, with that said, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay invested and as usual, I will see you in the next one.